I'm Karen Traub, I'm an assistant professor at University of Montreal um, and I am the team leader of the sound modeling, acoustics and signal processing research theme at Kermit. The, this research theme concerns um, various uh, aspects of uh, sound processing. So, uh, first of all, uh, the researchers are working on uh, various representation, digital re representations of sound. Um, and um, also the acoustic measurements and characterization of musical instruments and sound reprodu production devices. Um, the computer modeling of the, of the physics of sound and vibrating objects is also investigated by uh, different researchers in, the, in, the, in this group. Uh, and finally, um, uh, several researchers are working on the control of sound synthesis for musical and audio applications. The research team members are Philippe De Pal, Marcello Wanderly, and Gary Scavon from the Music Technology Area at McGill University, Alain Berry from uh, University of uh, Sherbrooke, and Jean Pichet and myself from uh, University of Montreal. Each member of the research team uh, will um, work on a different aspect of sound modeling, acoustics, and signal processing. Um, for example, um, Philippe de Pal uh, is developing uh, signal and physical models of, of musical instruments. Um, uh, Gary Scavon uh, is doing uh, measurements of, um, of the dynamics of, the, of musical instruments. Um, here at the University of Montréal, we um, look at the, the musical instrument timbre from the perspective of the performer, so uh, looking at how performers control a musical instrument, and this information can eventually be implemented in, uh, uh, in the control of, uh, of uh, synthesis engines. With respect to the control of sound synthesis uh, and, and sound processing, we could mention the work of Jean Pichet, my colleague here at University of Montréal, who has developed a, a software called Cecilia, uh, which is a graphical interface uh, for the C sound engine. And so with Cecilia, composers can easily control and uh, um, describe uh, uh, parameters, trajectories of parameters for the, for the sound synthesis and, and processing. Um, and which uh, eases uh, the development of new uh, vir virtual instruments. Uh, also, Marcelo Wanderly uh, uh, works on um, gestural interfaces um, for uh, sound synthesis. Um, finally, Alain Berry um, uh, brings his, his expertise in, uh, the st in, uh, in musical acoustics and acoustics in general, um, uh, the measurement of directivity of musical instruments in, um, in the uh, anechoic chamber and, and so on. The sound modeling, acoustics and signal processing research theme is one of the six research, research themes at Kermit. And um, to achieve uh, inter interdisciplinarity in uh, this research, research area, uh, we make sure that the, the theme uh, research uh, overlaps with some of the other uh, themes in Kermit. And this interdisciplinarity um, is achieved by um, including members that are uh, leading other research themes at Kermit. For example, um, in our theme we have Marcelo Wanderly, uh, who is also uh, leading the second axis um, at Kermit uh, uh, concerning musical gestures, devices and motion, motion capture. Also, um, uh, we um, are hoping that the, the new tools, the new synthesis and analysis and sound processing, sound processing tools can have musical applications. Uh, we have in our theme uh, 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 a composer uh, uh, using um, um, sound synthesis in his, for, his, uh, for electroacoustic music, Jean Pichet, my colleague here at the University of Montréal, and also we collaborate with uh, Sean Ferguson uh, on the, on the uh, extended practice uh, theme. 
for example, uh, if we uh, are considering extending a musical instrument, uh, it's important to understand all the all the, all the acoustic phenomenon taking place on the instruments and how we can extend these instruments in a coherent way. The research axis uh, brings together researchers uh, uh, from uh, three universities and, um, and among these, research these researchers we find professors and students both in uh, uh, music technology and composition. So here, for example, at Université de Montréal, we have a, a large and strong uh, program in um, electroacoustic music composition. And so these, these researchers uh, are potential users of the tools uh, that are developed uh, by music technology researchers. And so we have a, an interesting uh, combination of interests and we can uh, perform also uh, artistic validation of um, and musical validation of uh, sound analysis, uh, synthesis and processing tools.